Hello guys, in this video we will see how to download and install RHL 9.5 on VMA Workstation. First go to RHL official website that is developers.redhat.com. Hit enter. Click on products. Click on Red Hat Enterprise Linux. Then click on download and sign up. Click on here. See here we have the RHN 9.5. We have boot ISO and DVD ISO. For complete installation, we have to download the DVD ISO. For minimal installation, we have to download the boot ISO 11 gigabytes. And for boot ISO, it is only about 1 GB. So I'm going with the complete features ISO. So I'm going to download DVD ISO. Click on download. Now here we have to log in or we have to create account. Okay. So I have already a login. Okay. You can use any one of these accounts also like Gmail or GitHub account or Microsoft account. Okay. Suppose you want to log in with Google that is Gmail. You have to click on login with Google. Okay. So I have an existing account. So I am going to provide my username and password. Then click on login. It automatically starts download. See, download has been started. See, go to downloads. See, the size is 11 gigabytes. I have already, see, I have already downloaded. So I am cancelling this one. In your case, wait until download completes. Okay. If you are unable to start download, again click on download or sign up. Then scroll down. See here we have the all downloads and go to the RHL 9.5 expand it and you have to click on download okay this is the way to download the RHL 9.4 once the download is completed then open VMA workstation if you want to install VMA workstation on your machine then go through the link provided in the video description and install it see I have two versions of VMA workstation VMA workstation front VMA workstation player okay you can download them and you can install them but the installation process is same on both now click on create any virtual machine or file then click on new virtual machine both are same next select the installer disk image file select the downloaded iso file click on browse and select the dvd iso click on open then click on next provide name Give the name for the virtual machine RHL95. Then browse the path where you have the enough space to store this virtual machine files and folders. Give the name, click on OK, click on Next. Then provide the hard disk size that is virtual disk size. I am giving 100 gigabytes. Click on next and see here these are the settings of the virtual machine. But if you want to see memory has selected 2 gigabytes. I want to increase it to 4 gigabytes. So click on customize hardware. Then use this pointer to up or you can provide the memory here. Okay. Click on close and see the option here power on this virtual machine after creation. I don't want uncheck it and click on finish. See, virtual machine is created, but not yet installed the RHL 9.5. Okay, to start the installation of the RHL 9.5 installation on VMware, you have to click on power on this virtual machine or right click and select the power, then start the startup guest or power on both are same. Or you can go to VM power, then startup power on. Okay, all three options are same. So click on power on this virtual machine. Still, if you want to edit settings, you have to click on edit virtual machine settings. Right click and select the settings. Or select here and click on VM and select the settings. So all three options are same. Now, okay. now click on power on this virtual machine to start the installation of 
RHL 9.5. Click on it. Select the language and click on continue. See, begin installation has been grayed out. To click on begin installation, we have to fill these options that are with red colored font. Okay, so we have to select the installation destination and root password and user creation. This is option. Okay, so click on it and select the path. I'm okay with the default one, so click on done. And we have to set the password for root account. Then click on done. See, now we are able to click on begin installation. Also, if you want to select the software, click software, click on software selection. See, server with UI, server or minimal, etc. Or if you want only workstation, you can select the virtual workstation. Okay, I'm okay with the server with UI. You can none. If you want to create user, you have to provide user full name and password. If you want to make this user as administrator, you have to select the checkbox. Then click on done. Now click on begin installation to start the installation. If you want to modify any one of these options, you have to click on them and you have to edit. Click on begin installation. See, installation has been started. This may take time. I am going to pause this video until installation completes. I will resume whenever it asks. It will ask us to reboot the system. Okay. See, installation has been completed. Now click on reboot system. Click on username and provide password. Click on no thanks. See after the station we have to register. So click on register system. Let me maximize it. Go to here subscription then system not register. So click on here. Provide the email that we have logged in to download and password. Click on register. See, the system has been registered and software updates have been enabled. Okay. See here also it is saying subscription registered system. Now click on activities. Open terminal. See font is low, so increase the font. Click on this three horizontal bars. References. Select unnamed profile. Then check this custom font. Then select here. Increase the font. Click on select. Close it. Close this. Now verify the version of the more slash etc os hyphen release see we have installed rhl 9.5 okay you want to verify the ip of this machine just give if config see this is the ip of this machine okay we want to verify the host name give host name see this is the host name with the domain name control n now the first step after connecting to rhl 9.5 is we have to update the packages sudo dnf update percent percent sudo dnf upgrade hit enter then provide the password of sudo user don't have sudo user you can log in with root and you can provide see it is going to install four packages and upgrade the 56 packages type a hit enter this may take time so in this video we have seen how to download and install rhl 9.5 on vma workstation for more Linux tutorials, please subscribe my channel. Thank you.